ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் ஐம் டாக்டர் சதீப் வெல்கம் ஆல் டு அவர் டெமோ மெடிக்கோ டு டிவைன் மாஸ்டர் செஷன் டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் ஹீட் ஹாட் பேஷண்ட் அண்ட் சில்லி பேஷண்ட் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் வில் பி எ பிக் கன்ஃபியூஷன் இன் அவர் ப்ராக்டிஸ் அண்ட் இன் அவர் அகாடமிக்ஸ் ஆல்சோ so both uh, we will uh, address today and uh, make you understand how this uh, problem can be sorted out first of all friends so as you understand if the patient is chilly so he will be very sensitive to any cold uh, atmosphere ac or outside the uh, any of the rooms so whenever he goes outside the room uh, to the environmental weather so he will be aggravated so this is called as chilly patient as you all know so another is hot patient so hot patient is aggravated by hot so wherever uh, uh, the patient uh, is aggravated by uh, uh, sun hot or any of the radiation hot or in a closed room or by blanketing himself this is all called as a hot patient as you know so in the practical uh, purpose so we will be in a uh, what to say like uh, uh, it will be difficult to ask the patient directly is he sensitive to which uh, type of weather so you can put a, a simple question which weather he likes so which weather if he likes whichever weather he is liking will be his core uh, uh, what to say like finding that is if he is very sensitive to cold he will not like cold so he will be in a opposite uh, uh, desiring like uh, if he is a chilly patient he will be always wearing uh, suits and he will be always uh, uh, wanting warm atmosphere near him and he will be in a closed room so this is the uh, thing uh, he will be uh, desiring so if the patient is hot so he will be wearing very less clothes uh, he will be uh, very interested in his uh, ac fan and everything so this is uh, as you know normally so uh, when a case taking uh, you are uh, taking so it will be very difficult so to convince the patient to make us understand in which weather his complaints will be aggravated or in which weather the patient is comfortable so one thing what i will be doing or what is in my practice is friends whenever there is a ac or fan in my room so that itself will trigger a uh, patient to present his symptoms so if he is chilly patients he will start asking uh, the doctor so please uh, uh, reduce this uh, temperature of the uh, this one ac or uh, the uh, f- fans so they will be asking like that then you can consider it as a chilly patient so if the patient is hot he will be not uh, uh, asking for that so he will be asking in a reverse direction that is he wants the ac to be more cooler or he wants the fan to be more higher uh, range of uh, uh, circulation so this is about uh, the practical purpose of our uh, uh, hot and cold uh, uh, friends many a times the patient is not at all uh, uh, comfortable in telling hot or cold he will be telling that he will be aggravated by hot also he will be aggravated by cold also this will put a, a big question in which category we must put uh, the patient into so in this conditions i will uh, uh, totally bypass this hot and cold uh, uh, thing because what is that is if we struck in one uh, uh, aspect the remaining aspects we will miss due to that reason what i will do is i bypass this uh, uh, this uh, hot and cold patient uh, uh, theory only so that uh, we can understand the patient more deeply and uh, more uh, mind symptoms we can focus on and we can bypass this hot and cold aspect and we can uh, understand the core of the patient that is mental state general physicals or whatever uh, he is more comfortable with in which condition in which atmosphere that is i mean to say in mental atmosphere i mean to say like uh, uh, if he is playing music he will be comfortable if he is reading he is comfortable and being in a uh, travel he is comfortable so he, whatever uh, he is is he comfortable that we must uh, note of so by that what we can do is we can bypass this uh, uh, hot and cold thing and uh, we can directly go to the mind aspect of the patient so this uh, i will be doing in my practice uh, friends you can also apply uh, this in your uh, practice so another uh, important thing to bypass this uh, hot and cold aspect is desire aversion if you uh, come to know properly so if he is uh, the patient is desired to uh, very much uh, uh, desired with uh, uh, very specific thing you can take note of those things that will also help uh, help in uh, uh, totality of the symptoms 
so another thing uh, which i will be focusing is the irritability fears so if you can uh, focus on the irritability of the patient anger hmm, and uh, disappointments and fear of the patient that will be also helping us to get the totality of the symptoms to bypass the uh, hot and cold we must go in a, a broader aspect to understand the patient so in this way i will be bypassing uh, many a times so uh, i will not consider much of the hot and cold aspect because patient will be confused and he will be confusing us also so better uh, you just leave that uh, aspect and uh, trigger uh, the other uh, symptoms which he is more uh, uh, suffering with so that is one of the thing and in academics friends it will be very difficult uh, to tell the same thing to our professors or to the examiners so it is uh, academic section if you uh, come to then you must by heart it so there is no other go around because whenever uh, we were in the colleges so it is always a question you know, what is this your yeah, brain is cold or hot or cold or hot so it will be a confusion thing so nothing like that brain is hot only so uh, fix a uh, thing in your mind that bryonia apis mellifica are hot only so there are few conditions wherein uh, bryonia may be uh, cold there are some conditions when bra- apis mellifica is cold but for uh, examination point of view these people are always hot this is clearly given in our materia medica and in our repertory everything is very uh, sure and short like it is black and white so in that condition nothing to worry about Uh, about this uh, uh, hot or cold or confusion nothing confusion these things whichever is hot will be in a hot category whichever is in cold which will will be in a cold category you can make a note of all the cold category medicines you can make a note of all hot category medicines and there is in between uh, category also that is uh, both sensitive to hot and cold you can put it in a middle category so this uh, we were doing in our uh, college days friends so you can also do it uh, very uh, properly and uh, systematically so this is about hot cold and in between temperature so another thing uh, what you must uh, notice sora syphilis psychosis so these are the uh, as you know miasms so many a times uh, sora will be uh, hot or cold so it will not be in between so tubercular are the miasm people who are uh, in between so they will be not hot they will be not cold they will be triggered by hot they will be triggered by cold also so miasmatic study also helps you uh, to understand the patient so i will take a uh, complete session on uh, each miasm friends so this is about uh, hot and cold i want to make you clear uh, about this uh, hot and cold and what is the solution to bypass this hot and cold so today uh, this is about a uh, session about hot and cold patients so if you like this video please uh, 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 share this video subscribe to to our channel i'll be getting this uh, uh, homeopathic uh, in practice and uh, in uh, academics how to uh, deal with these uh, things so if you uh, uh, like this uh, like this video uh, so this is the session today i wanted to talk about so i think uh, you understand whatever i wanted to make you understand friends uh, thank you and take care we will meet you in the sec- uh, next uh, uh, video thank you take care